Legends, I hope you're all awesome. Today, we're gonna do a quick little video with Antbox from Mercurial Audio, which basically takes some of their existing plugins and bakes them in to a single plugin with a single unified user interface and signal flow. So you have a selection between their Euphoria plugin based on a Bogner Ecstasy, their U530 based on an Engel preamp, and one of my favorite plugins of all time, Reaxis based on a Boogie Triaxis. So I have made some presets which come as factory presets in this latest update. If you already own any of these plugins, you can just update and get Antbox and get this updated UI for some of the other plugins. If you own all of them, then you can use all of them without having to, you know, say, remove a plugin and add another plugin in there. So if you're doing stuff like recording or reamping and you want to quickly audition, say the difference between Reaxis and Euphoria on a track, you don't have to have separate plugins. Furthermore, it comes built in with a gate, a graphic EQ, a wah, a few different overdrive models, a few different distortion models, reverb, chorus, delay, and a parametric EQ. So it's just kind of like your entire guitar amp tone workflow in a single plugin. What I want to do is just show off some of the presets that I made in here. I'm using my PRS Custom 24, which I've got in E flat at the moment. And let's start off with this crunchy preset using Euphoria. I've got a standalone video with Euphoria. And, you know, if you kind of like the Bogner thing and you like crunchy Marshall bass tones, that's really what I was going for here. So you can see I'm using channel two. Uh, there's a whole bunch of kind of little mods and switches on here. You know, you can set channel two to plexi mode, which I've got at the moment. It can have a lower or high gain structure. You can have a built-in boost. There's a lot of fun stuff in there, but that's the basic amp model I'm using. I have a little bit of a graphic EQ as like a pre-gain boost. I'm basically just slamming the preamp with a mid boost in there. The cabinet that I'm using is this 4x12 Modern G12M. These are based on Redwire's impulse responses and you can move the virtual mics in 2D, which is pretty handy. Then there's just a little bit of a kind of post EQ from a parametric and a tiny little bit of reverb going on. Let's hear it on the bridge pickup and then the neck pickup. <laughs> preset uses Euphoria. I've called it LT Grease. It's kind of based on my favorite Steve Lukather style greasy 80s tone. There's some delay in there. There's a chorus that you can bring in if you like that kind of thing. And a little bit of reverb on there as well using channel three of Euphoria. <laughs> dig that on there. Now with the Strat, we need to hear this crystalline preset because we've really kind of built around this. Uh, you know, if you take the neck and middle combo on a Strat and with the green rhythm one sound on the triaxis, which is just kind of like, you know, a Mark series clean. I've got a bunch of chorus, parametric EQ, reverb and delay on there. You get this sound. Mm.
one for all the 80s rack fans right there, you know, having like a boogie rack preamp model. I just kind of seemed like the right thing to do to layer a bunch of grease on there as I did. And again, these are all really straightforward to kind of fine tune for your guitars. There's a dedicated input and output control in here. So you can kind of optimize all the levels on there. The last one I've just called uh, TR Lead. It's using the yellow Lead 2 mode of the Tri-Axis, the 2C plus mode on there. And we'll hear it with the Strat, we'll hear it with the SC245, and then we'll hear it with my green PRS again. And this one is, so nice under the fingers. I think Mercurial, and I've said this before when I've reviewed their products before, uh, they've done a very good job at kind of like capturing the interaction between a guitar and the amp in here. These feel pretty good. <laughs> There's also a ton of artist presets in there for each of the different amp models, including players like Marco Sofogli, which if you haven't checked out Marco, do yourself a favor, amazing, amazing player. And it's also lovely to see some presets in there by my good buddy, Ryan over at Plague Scythe Studios. And his presets sound fantastic. And he's also got a fantastic in-depth look at this plugin, which I would recommend you all check out as well. So if you already own one or several of these plugins, this is gonna be a very welcome update. I'm very interested to see how long it takes Mercurial to get Spark and the SS plugin, as well as a bunch of their newer stuff, which I assume is coming. Uh, it seems like this is very much a move that they've made to consolidate their kind of ant modeling plugin format so that they can roll out future releases a lot easier. And I personally would like to see uh, a bunch of work put into some of the effects modes in there. There's some basic delays and reverbs in there, but I feel stuff like, you know, a panning delay or a ping pong delay or a basic spring reverb would go pretty well with some of the existing amp sounds that are already in there. Let me know how you like it in the comments section below and let me know if the presets work for you. If they don't work for you, feel free to ask for advice. Let me know what type of guitar you're playing and let me know what type of tones you're going for and uh, hopefully I can help point you in the right direction. Again, thank you to Mercurial for uh, letting me try this update out. I've already got all these plugins, but it's a very welcome addition and I really do hope a bunch of other plugin companies follow a similar route with this style thing where you just kind of have a master amp suite with all the products in there rather than having to kind of flip flop between different amp modeling plugins. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.